So myopia is also called nearsightedness, and that means that without a vision correction, you can see clearly up close typically and not clearly in the distance. Perhaps when you're driving, you don't see street signs. Maybe the TV isn't as clear. In children, they often don't notice any symptoms because they know no difference. So they, their vision is their vision and they're not really aware that they're not seeing things clearly in the distance. And that's why a regular eye examination is the place to pick that up. So myopia doesn't have a specific cause. We know there are risk factors for myopia. So parental history of myopia tends to lead to myopia in children. Also, we know that children who spend less time outside and more time on digital devices are tending to be more likely to have myopia, but there isn't a specific cause per se. So when we think about treating myopia, there's a couple of things to think about. One is correcting the vision so that you see clearly. So in an adult, for example, maybe it's just a pair of glasses for distance viewing, it might be for all the time. In children, it's something a little different. So we need to correct the vision so that a child sees well for obvious reasons, so they can be successful at school and in daily living. But we also want to correct the vision in a way that will slow down progression of myopia. One of our biggest concerns is children who start with myopia at a young age are more likely to have a high prescription. And with a high prescription comes complications later on that can lead to vision loss. So things such as retinal detachment, retinal degeneration, um, more incidence of cataracts, glaucoma, and those can have an impact on vision that are not, that's not correctable. So if you have retinal degeneration in your adult years, you're not regaining that vision that you've lost. We need to see children for routine eye care early, and if the child does have myopia, we need to intervene very quickly, and the options available include spectacles, contact lenses, and eye drops. Talk to your eye care provider, have a conversation about what's best for the child in the chair and don't leave it until it's too late.